channel. Today, guys, you might be wondering, Lissy, where are you? And why are there mysterious random colorful birds behind you? Well, that's because I'm at my boyfriend's house. Anyways, so for today's video, he has no idea what I'm going to be doing. Why did you move this box? I swear, you said this was a gift for me. <laughs> so, hold him. Then I got him a big gift Gosh. and I had this shipped to his house, what was that, three days ago? I don't know, yeah, like three or four days ago. I told him it was a gift, but it's it's not. Oh, what is it? <laughs> Let me put it down and explain. Okay. <laughs> okay, so as you guys know, and as he knows, I do a lot of haunted mystery boxes on my channel. You ordered a, <laughs> you ordered a haunted mystery box to my house? <laughs> this is what you signed up for. <laughs> I'm regretting it. I got a, another eBay haunted mystery box and this was a really weird one from a seller I've never heard of. It was only $200 so I was like, why not? We could have went to McDonald's with $200. Mm -hmm, who cares? <laughs> so we're gonna open up this haunted mystery box, see what's inside. If you guys are excited, smash a like and if this video gets to 10,000 likes, we'll buy more haunted mystery boxes and be sure to subscribe because I post new videos every single week. But let's open this up and see what's inside. Let's go! I I swear, if there's, if you got my house haunted, haha. -ha. I don't have enough money to move. I told him it was a surprise before this video. Ow. So he's just been very lied to. Oh, get too close to me with those. I'm sorry. I'm just excited because I have no idea what they put in here. It's just very heavy. We're just gonna leave it like this, and I'm gonna pull the first thing I okay. see out of here. They okay. sent me an email about what they put this in is here. Oh, oh my! Ah! What, what is, is that? that? My house. Is Look how dusty he is. He's dirty. It looks like he got rubbed in the dirt. I didn't know what they were Look how all colored he is. No. I would start respecting him. He goes outside. I'm gonna see why he's haunted, but I'm gonna show the viewers first what he looks like. So he's just this like old fashioned little monkey. He's got some rubber hands, a rubber face. He has little <laughs> jingle bells, I think. Yeah, he does have some jingle bells. And he's kind of crusty. <laughs> Here's the back of him. Look at his look him. at his raggedy kicks. Look at his shoes. Oh yeah, he's got little monkey <laughs> shoes on. But yeah, he's kinda creepy. I wanna know why he's haunted, so we're gonna read what the seller sent me in a PDF. A haunted monkey in my house. What could I expect more from you? Like <laughs> what? So the seller said that this guy is called Zippy the Monkey. I'm gonna have you hold him while I read about him, okay? So just hold out for the audience. So, Zippy the Monkey was owned by a small boy many years ago who loved the Howdy Doody show. Howdy Doody is an American children's television program. I'm trying to read this story. <laughs> It's an American children's television program with circus and western frontier themes. Apparently the young boy who was gifted this toy monkey by his grandfather, who would also always watch the show with him, so they both shared the love of the Howdy Doody show together. He realized how much his grandson loved the monkey from Howdy Doody called Zippy from the show, so on his eighth birthday he gifted the toy to him. Things were apparently fine until one day when the child's dog got a hold of the toy monkey and ripped it up. Do you see any rips on him? Maybe his like scarf thing here. Apparently the boy brought the toy to his mother and she sewed it up for him and while she was sewing it up she reached inside and realized this toy monkey had a small jar inside of him with a note that she took out and read and it was written in another language. She thought that was weird and threw the glass jar away and continued to sew the monkey back up and later that night when the boy was sleeping he began to hear monkey noises coming from his closet in which he kept Zippy the dog. <laughs> he looked over his shoulder and saw his monkey get thrown off the shelf aggressively onto the floor and apparently after that he was so traumatized after what he witnessed with this monkey doll that he got rid of it and his parents gave it to the local antique store where it was passed along passed along apparently antique store workers claimed that they had heard noises and jingles of his bell moving when he wasn't supposed to be and now this haunted doll collector sold them to us so that's fun i'm not a fan of him you he's, don't like him he's going where do we put him on the bed for tonight he's gonna sleep by you Yep. The garbage can? No, on the oh, bed! Yeah. Okay, well he already doesn't like Zippy. I'm gonna let you guys know if anything happens with Zippy. <laughs> Why don't you grab the box here? I'm gonna let him pick the next Ow. one. Ow! <laughs> can you grab something from here? Close my eyes, grab something. Grab something. Grab something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's definitely um, a different kind of item for a haunted mystery box. It's a whole painting. All right. Um, who is this woman? Do you have a, a guess of what her name would have been? Susan. Uh, she looks more like a 
a Hannah. Look at her teeth. She has some pretty nice teeth, actually. But she does look a little dreary. Okay, I'm curious about why this painting is haunted. Why is she like fading away? You see that? It's like it's like yeah. a post mortary type it picture. It's kind of creepy. Okay, so I'm gonna have you hold this. Thanks. You're welcome. This is actually horrifying. It is, but it's kind of got a beautiful frame. I'm probably gonna keep it. You're gonna take this poor lady's photo out and change it? Maybe. This painting apparently was hung in an old school and was known to make students and staff members uneasy looking at it. It says students even claimed that they had seen the girl in this painting change expressions on her face. I haven't seen her do anything yet. She just looks like she's smiling, so I'm gonna have to she must like keep us. my eye on her. She must like us. She must be happy here. Um, some people say that she looks upset or angry and when they turn back around to look at her twice, she's back to her normal position in the painting, which is kind of creepy. Others said they've heard a young girl crying while nobody was around in the presence of this painting, and others have gotten extreme migraines and felt uneasy while just staring into the eyes of this little girl in the painting. The owner said that's the only thing they know about the history. They don't know who it is in this painting. They don't know why people feel so uneasy, but to the people of the school eventually, that school closed down. It was a pretty old school, so they donated all the belongings in this school, the painting, the desks, the furniture, and this one. The antique store owners apparently knew the story from the school because they told them that they thought this one was haunted, so that's kind of cool. You want to stare into it for a little bit, see if you feel anything? No, I don't no? feel anything. Let me try. Ew, I feel like her, her pupils feel like they get bigger, but it's just probably my head playing a game with me. Cause I feel like her pupils are so dark, it feels like they're expanding. Like No, it did feel like she has like a really good stare. Like she, she's directly looking at the camera. That's the one thing I will say. I don't know if she's haunted. I don't know if it's true or not, but she does look a little creepy. So I guess we'll hang her on the wall tonight above our bed with our monkey and we'll find out. He's in for it. I'm sleeping in the basement. All right, what is next? I'm gonna grab the next grab one. Grab a toy, grab, grab a, a toy. toy. I'm gonna grab. What, what is this? The heck is it's that? a teddy bear! It's kinda cute! Yeah, he's pretty cool. So I don't know anything about him yet. I'm just gonna show him to the camera. So here he is. He's just this little teddy bear with a little drum set. It looks like he winds up, plays the drums. So I'm gonna wind him up for you guys and see how he oh how he works. Why is he going so fast? Work little buddy. In X Games mode. Yeah, he's a drummer. Why is he going so fast? I love having him hold all the haunted items. This one is called a drumming bear. No surprise there. It says, this old drumming bear is known to go off all by itself. It's been inside of an old antique store, but the owners claim that they got it from an estate cell. Ever since they got this bear, it had always fallen off shelves, wind it up itself, and some even claim when they hear distant circus music at night, when closing down their store. That sounds a little drastic. I don't know if I believe yeah, that. Yeah, this guy seems too I'm starting to wonder if this is a fake mystery box. What is it? What is this? <gasps> a Furby! Yeah, right, this ain't haunted. It's cute. Look at his beak, it goes up. Are there supposed to be birds or actually, what kind of animals are Yo, furbies? it just opened its eyes. For real? Yeah. Like actually? Yeah. Look at him. Okay, so the, I don't know which version. I've done a lot of Furby videos. I don't know which version he is. He has a little like tail. I think he's a cool version. Look he looks like him. a newer version. Yeah. He has a lot of polka dots. Brr, 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 brr. He's cute. He's so cute. He can't be haunted. He's adorable. I wonder if we can put batteries in him. Because I don't think he has any batteries. Okay, so it says this Furby is allegedly haunted and has worked without any batteries inside of it. So we might not even need batteries if it's really haunted. I just start working in the middle of the night. Um, it says that the previous owners claim they couldn't get it to ever shut off during the middle of the night. Its eyes would light up and it would make obnoxious growling sounds and made them very uncomfortable. So they decided to get rid of it. They had purchased it from a random garage sale because their daughter loves Furbies. And then they ended up giving it back to the garage sale owners, and then the garage sale owners eventually gave it to the antique store. This guy is in for some chaos, I guess. That's all they said. They didn't say much of anything about him, so I don't know how believable it is. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't look haunted to me. But... Do you have batteries? Yeah, but I gotta unscrew him. We should do that. All right, give me one second. Oh, I wanna see him wet up. So we just put batteries in this thing and I had Oh, look how cursed it looks in the camera. <laughs> it had a full conversation with him and it was scary. He was putting the batteries in and it went, Don't it went, don't touch me. Do it again, Furby. Show that you're haunted. What is it saying? Hey, Furby. Is this supposed to 
Sadie's got a face? Furby, where am I? Hey, tell that move on TikTok. TikTok? <laughs> no! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Why are you shaking him? No happy. No happy. You're pissing off our heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ew. What did you do to him? Spanked him. Naughty. Da, 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 da. You're gonna break him. Stop. Danger. 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 Oh my oh. god. That's <laughs> actually gross. <laughs> okay, so there's a few more things in this haunted mystery box they sent us. Will you grab the next item? Sure. <laughs> what is this? What is it? Oh. It's two dolls. Two dolls. Dolls. Okay. What's better than one doll? Two dolls. Two creepy dolls. This one shakes its eyes. Show them. Oh, Show them. Okay, so yeah, there's this one doll here, and she has a little blinking eye. She blinks her eyes, and she has a little pretty Victorian gown. And then there's another one in a different kind of outfit, and she also looks like she blinks her eyes. So I want to know why they're together, and why that they are supposedly haunted. So they didn't give much information about these, actually. This might be one of the smallest stories um, in this whole document. So it says, These two Victorian dolls have been seen moving their arms, thinking, and changing their expressions. We are unsure where they came from or who they belong to, but the previous owner, who was a psychic, believed that these were obtained by two spirits of twin sisters who mean no harm and have attached themselves to these very dolls. That's all that they gave. Do you think that they're haunted? Do they feel weird? Feel kind of weird, yeah. Mm, they do feel kind of strange, but I don't feel like they feel evil if they really are haunted. Their eyes are a little creepy though, how they blink. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Kind of weird, I don't know. I'm trying to see if they blink on their own. I think if you are haunted, just do a little blink. Do you want to move your arm or blink to show that you are here with us? I don't know, they don't feel very haunted, but they have cool outfits. So that's the dolls. So I just grabbed this. This is a Bozo the Clown magnetic kazoo. Shut up, Furby. Why is it going off? Are they supposed to do that? No. So Bozo the Clown is just this clown, I guess. It's a kazoo magnet. Are you really gonna blow on that? Ew, no. It says on the back here, hey kids, it's your old pal Bozo inviting you to hum on the top of my head. That sounds really gross. It sounds messed up. It do really it. says this. Do it. It says do it. beat your feet real neat and have a fantastic hoop name time. <laughs> you don't need any musical training to make me sound real ding a ding a dong dandy. It says that in the back of this. That's horrible. <laughs> Just bring bones on the instrument to your lips and your humming will do the rest. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not kidding. It really does say this on the back here. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys, but that's really messed up. Oh, I want to know why this is haunted. It's literally in packaging, so yeah, you hold it. <gasps> this clown kazoo, according to the old toy collector who had bought it, was known to make whistling sounds and clown laughs at 5 a.m. every single night since he bought it. Shut up, Furby. I'm scared of that, Furby. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. So ever since he bought it and added it to his collection, he didn't believe in ghosts. One night he actually put this box outside to see if the noises would stop and they magically did. As soon as he put it outside, he didn't hear it anymore. <laughs> so that's his story and then he got rid of it in the antique store and they resold it, so. So we have it now. Yeah. I kinda wanna blow on it, but I'm not. Do it for the video, do it. <laughs> You have to you, you have to hum into it. Okay, okay your neighbor's gonna call the cops. <laughs> Woo! All right, I don't think it's haunted. No! <laughs> mean. No, I'm not. All right, we'll see. You grab the last one. Oh, you want me to grab the last one? <laughs> it's Minnie Mouse. M I C K E Y. U.S. Mini hat. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous at this point. This is, this is quite the mystery box. It belonged to a mother, apparently, who loved to take her kids to Disney. Eventually, when the mother passed away, the kids who had retrieved this hat from their mom sold it 
as they grew older because it made them sad to think of memories of their mother. Apparently the owner who got the hat claimed that her house began smelling like lavender and she never had anything lavender in her house. Um, eventually she contacted the kids and realized that their mother used to always wear lavender perfume. So then they think that the spirit of the mom is attached to this hat. And I'm wearing it. The owner didn't mind that the spirit was attached, but things began to progress, such as the hat would move around all by itself. So it would go from the closet onto the dresser overnight all by itself or move onto the bed. And that's when the owner of the hat began to get a little concerned for her safety. So she donated it to an antique store and let them know the story about it. So now we have it. I wonder if she ever hit the gritty in it. It's cute. I wouldn't get rid of this, even if it was haunted. Like. It's Minnie Mouse. I love Disney, so I don't think it's haunted, but that was quite the mystery box. What do you think? I think it was pretty fun. You gotta wear that to Disney next time. I'm styling. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash a like and subscribe to join the family. Let me know in the comments down below what mystery boxes I should do next, and comment down below if you guys think any of these are haunted or if you guys want me to do more tests with them. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Goodbye.